Hey, what's up, guys? It's M to the A to the N G O, your boy Mango. Okay, that was kind of lame. Uh, let's just redo that. Uh, yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Mango here. Today, another video for you, as we do. And I'm freestyling just for you, because I like to do it like I want to. Okay, uh, so to start this off, uh, basically, this video, guys, we are going to be doing in two sections. It's going to be a discussion about Legion, because that's what's up right now. So we're going to be discussing uh, my five favorite and my five least favorite changes coming in Legion. I just decided to split this in half, so I'm going to do my five uh, least favorite changes in this video here. And then in the next video, which I will do later, probably in next week at max, uh, will be my five favorite changes, just so we can hear both ends of the spectrum now. I understand the game is in alpha right now, and... Currently, a lot of things are going to get changed, but I'm kind of doing this video on, uh, you know, my position if the game was to come out tomorrow, and, you know, it's definitely good to get your opinion out, so, uh, you know, they, kn they know what's up, Blizzard, even though they probably won't listen. So, yeah, we'll start off with my five least favorite changes, um, so let's get into this. So, my... Coming in at number five, now by the way, no particular order, so it's not ranked like one being the highest or whatever, this is just completely random. So I'll start with five though, and that's gonna be legendary weapons coming out in Legion. Everybody loves a good legendary, you know, uh, orange legendary stuff, but in Legion, if you're unfamiliar, they are actually changing the way legendaries are going to be gathered or gotten or however the fuck you wanna say it. Basically, legendaries now are a lot fucking more common so you can have like I can't remember the number or I don't know the number at all but like there's like 50 legendaries or something like that like some crazy ass number of legendaries that are coming out in Legion uh, so you know there's gonna be a lot more but basically legendaries now are gonna be a lot more obtainable and easier to get in a sense basically legendaries can now drop from any mob in the game uh, I believe uh, with I mean a very 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 small chance, but when you think about it that that's kind of a bit ridiculous the fact that a random you know casual and I guess that's why they call it world of casual craft but you know they can get a legendary weapon now even though they don't deserve it and I really don't like this change because it changes the fact that a legendary weapon isn't legendary they literally changed legendaries to an epic uh with the purple one you know and i really don't like that because it it takes away the fantasy and the epicness behind the legendary and it doesn't make him as cool and it it just makes it a lot more lame in a sense so that's why i have it at number five in on this list in general so for my uh fourth again not in any particular order but for one of my least favorite changes you know i know this is kind of it's not a change but the level cap uh, currently is going to be 110. I know they can't change that or anything, but like the number is just so damn high that it actually bothers me. Past level 100 kind of seems ridiculous. It's not really a problem, but it's such an intimidating number that it actually, uh, you know, it has. And I speak from experience, but I know because I know players that they, they think it's just way too high and it's an unattainable number that they don't even want to start playing. But like I said, you know. I have friends, and I speak from experience, that they, they'll be like, yo, leveling up to 110, that's way too hard. I'm not playing this dumbass game. But over here, like, yo, you got to play this dumbass game. Trust me, it's not that bad. No, 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 it's going to be that bad. So, I mean, I know you have to have a new level cap in every expansion, but I feel like they should do something different besides going up to 110. Like, you know, I think in Diablo, they call it Paragon levels or some shit like that. I've heard that, or... I mean, you can do, I just thought of this on the spot kind of, but you can do like a reputation base kind of thing where like you'd level up, you know, with your faction or some shit like that. So there should be more ways in the, uh, or whatever, you know, I'm, I kind of lost my train of thought, but basically what I mean is there's got to be a way to get players to level from one to, you know, max level without feeling intimidated that it's going to take them a long time. And I think that doing, you know, a max level 100, uh, even though it could be lower, or reducing, you know, or g if you give them um, a character boost, it should prob probably not be level 100. It should be, like, level 60, so they still have to level and gain some experience from that. Now, I guess we'll go with three 
this is just kind of the numbers thing now for me. The numbers are too high. I mean, I can only count to five. That's why it's a top five. And the number, the health pools in WoW now are Diablo-sized health pools, and it's just way too high, way too ridiculous, way too impossible to keep track. And it really messes me up a lot. And I hate seeing, you know, the number one million being thrown onto the screen, and you know, 500k and all that crazy shit. It's just way too high. And I think Blizzard is definitely capable of lowering these numbers down but for some reason they don't and i think it's just really affecting the game in general because when you see like that big those big numbers it just doesn't really work out the lower is really the best in my opinion but anyways next off is uh it's going to be the pvp talents and the honor system i i you know i actually was a fan of this when they announced it but it was really now i realize just because it was new and something different you know when i really think about it the new pvp talents first of all they're shit you know, they're literally dog shit. Blizzard just took, like, they literally just came up, took a dump all over it, and then smeared it around, and then they called it Legion, PvP Talents. And, you know, the honor system is, you know, I'm okay with it, but it's pretty dumb because I figure now no one's actually gonna even fucking, like, prestige, be unless you're some PvE-type nerd or roleplay nerd that just wants the cosmetic rewards. Because a competitive PvP versus P PvP, or... Er, you know, he's, he's not going to want to fucking, like, start all the way from z ground zero. Like, he's going to put himself at such a big disadvantage. So, it's really pointless in that sense. And, in that sense. So, uh, but I'm actually going to do another discussion video actually discussing the talent system in general. Like, just a video on that itself. So, I'm not going to go in depth on them. But, that's one of the changes. Now, coming in at number one. Number one is, obviously, this is pretty, pretty simple, I think, for everybody, uh especially pvpers uh that's going to be ability pruning uh ability pruning has just been absolutely awful it's caused so much uproar in the community and you know it seems like blizzard's kind of listening but they're really not and i'd really like to know what goes inside like their headquarters like do they do they do they think like the the trend of losing subscribers is is like good because it's happened with ability pruning and pvps become worse with ability pruning and it seems like they don't realize that. Like, if they actually looked at uh, Wrath when they actually had abilities and everything like that, it was very, very good PvP content. Everyone enjoyed it. Even Kata a bit. You know, everyone still enjoyed that Enjoyed that uh, to some extent. But now, like, it's literally becoming a MOBA. And you can't have WoW become a MOBA. Because there's nothing... Sim there's no similarities between an MMO and a MOBA. You know, in an MMO, you have to have all these abilities, so you actually have stuff to do, and there's actually a complex, uh, you know, skill cap and everything like that. Because in a MOBA, you have five abilities or four abilities or whatever. Okay, yeah, but there's so much more in-depth going into the game that you need to know. Like when to go for a dragon, baron kill, ganking, all that shit that I have absolutely no clue about. And I'd really like to listen to the discussion Blizzard. I mean, like, it's got to be just like... Hey, hey, Craig, you know, let's get rid of this ability because it's sometimes really hard for me to press it. That's a fucking fantastic idea there. Right? I mean, let's do it. Like, 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 who thinks of this? Like, it's absolutely ridiculous, and it, it's going to be the death of PvP. And if you really want to know more about this, go check out the forum post uh, posted by Natiscat. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce his name. And uh, even Sidu, you know, hashtag stop the prune and all that shit. But he's just doing it for viewers, viewers anyways, right? I mean, yeah. But, but yeah, so if you want to learn more about that, you can go check them out. And yeah. But anyways, guys, this is going to do it for my uh, top, um, or rather just my five least favorite changes coming in Legion. Like I said, we're going to be doing another one for my five favorite changes in Legion. And I hope you enjoyed this discussion. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch, because I'm going to be start streaming hopefully soon on the weekends. And yeah, I'll catch you later. Peace.